Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing good. So in this video, let us do a couple of problems. This is greedy with strings. And these problems are actually quite simple, but they are confusing. And even I made some mistakes and maybe you, you might have made. Uh, they are just tricky and you have to take some time to analyze all kinds of possibilities to get the best answer. And they have multiple ways of doing. So let us look into it. But before that, I would like to tell you about this ebook. This ebook uh, that I'm showing you on the screen right now is on data structures and algorithms. It has 90 plus DS algo chapters and 15 plus HR questions. This ebook is written by a software engineer himself who has worked in many multinational companies and he has uh, neatly organized everything and given his own experience. So I will show you some uh, insights, like see, there is introduction, uh, like notation, big O notation, all of that. Sorting algorithms, sorting, very important, right? Searching, basic data structures, tree, graphs, advanced data structures, backtracking. So for example, if we go to this, we, if we click on this link, because it's an ebook, it will directly lead us to this point. So instead of finding multiple resources online, you can just buy this one because it has everything compiled. It is what a very affordable price. Link will be in the description. Okay, so you can see it is very neatly written and organized also. So please do check it out guys. Link is in the description, okay? So let us see today's first problem. Now, actually, the name of the problem is different from the actual problem. I am currently solving this one. Uh, you can see the cursor, right? Greedy algorithm to find minimum number of coins, this one. If you click on this link, it will lead you to this problem. This problem name is called choose and swap. So you are given a string of lowercase English alphabets. You can choose any two characters in the string and replace all occurrences of one character with the other. Our aim is, and similarly, the other character with the first. So basically, we can choose two characters and replace all occurrences of first character with second and all occurrences of second character with the first. But what is the problem? It is saying we have to find a lexicographically smallest string that can be obtained by doing this operation. Lexicographically smallest means the one which appears first in the dictionary. Just remember that. Lexicographically smallest means the one which appears first in the dictionary. I think you have this much understanding, right? Like which appears first in dictionary and all that. Okay, so... Let us take the example only and see. See, this is a string. Uh, let me write it down. So this string, for example, C, C, A, D. Okay, this is the string. Now we have to choose two characters and swap the occurrences in such a way that we get the lexicographically smallest. So what if I choose a C and A? If I choose C and A, what should I do? I should replace all the occurrences of C with A and I should replace all occurrences of A with C. So wherever C is present, replace it with A. Wherever A is present, replace it with C. So my string will turn out to be A, C, C, D. Sorry, A, A, C, D. Sorry for that. A, A, C, D. Okay. But why did I choose only A? Should I choose D? Can I choose D here instead of A? If I choose C and D, what will happen? My string will become D, D, A, C. Now you only tell me this string and this string, which is lexicographically smaller, obviously this, because it appears first in dictionary. Right. So the point here is, why will I replace a character with a character that comes after it? I should not replace a character 
by another character which comes after it in the english alphabet c d comes after c there is no point in replacing c with d from this we can come to a uh, approach that what exactly we should do is whenever we take a character we have to find out if there is a character which is smaller than that what do i mean smaller than a character which comes before it in the english alphabet in this example if we consider c the letter c we should find a character which comes before c but it is present after the position where c is see in this example c is present where c is present at index 0 a is present at index 2 so we should choose a character which is smaller than our current character and it comes after it in the string after it in the string because then only we can get a lexicographically smaller one why should we not choose c and d because first of all d is greater than c we will get a greater string so we should not even choose that so what will be the approach approach for this problem will be at each and every index in the string we should traverse the string and we should check at each and every index if there is a character which appears after the string after that index which if there is a character which appears after that index and is smaller than the current character as soon as we get something like that just swap those two and return the string let me take one more example and show it to you suppose the string given to me is a a c c b okay now let us consider a is there any character to the right side of this letter sorry to the right side of this a okay is there any character which is lexicographically smaller which is smaller than a no there is no character check carefully there is no character which is smaller than a similarly for this also there will be no character smaller but what about c if we consider c there is b on the right side so we will replace b with c and c with b so our answer will be a a b b c so let me show the code i think you would have understood by now what we have to do see i have taken an array i have taken a you can say like a hash array first index so what is this first index why am i finding first index i just want to find out first occurrence of each and every character i am only interested in first occurrence of each and every character like in this example a and c they are present two times but i was only interested in the first occurrence of c and first occurrence of b because as soon as i get any kind of combination which is suitable to swap then i will swap all the characters i will swap all the c characters with b and all the b characters with c so i am only concerned about first index of each and every unique character present in the string so that is why i have taken a hash array which will store the index of each and every character unique character so maximum what is the size as they have told the string contains lower case english alphabets how many alphabets are there 26 so first index this hash array 
will have a size 26 so initially i will initialize all the values with minus 1 then i will traverse through the string and if i find out that there is uh, an character which is occurring for first time how to check if a character is occurring for first time if the first index of that is minus one, that means the first time I have encountered a new character and I will store the first occurrence of that new character in the first index array. Okay. So that is done. I have stored that. Now what is there? Again, traverse through the string. And now we have to check now what we have to do now is the crucial point at each character at each index at each index i have to check on the right side if there is any character just listen to me carefully at each index i have to check if there is any character present to the right of this index such that that character is lesser than the character at my current index for example, C is my current character and I am at th that particular index, suppose 0. And I find a character A at position 2. So then I will swap. As soon as I find anything, I will swap and I will break out because that will be the lexicographically smallest I can get. The, the sooner you get a character to swap, the better it is. The better, the better it is means the lesser the string will be lexicographically. So what is this loop doing here? This for loop, you can ask me like, what is this loop doing? What is this for J equal to zero, J less than S of I minus 97? Basically, this is trying to find out a character which has having less value, but it is present on the right side. Are you able to understand? See, I am traversing only up till the character that I am considering. For example, if this is my string CCAD, now I am at C. If I am at C, then I am only interested in knowing if there are characters A or B on the right side of C. Because only these two characters, if I swap, I will get the smaller string. So are you able to understand like why I am writing this loop? This loop over here, basically, it is trying to find out a character which is smaller than the current character. And this if condition is trying to find whether the first index of that character that I'm wanting to swap is greater than the index of my current character. For example, my current character here is C. Okay and I encountered a character A, the first index of A is greater than first index of C and A is smaller than C. A is smaller and it is occurring, having, and it is having first index greater than C. So at that case, I will swap those two. So this loop is to traverse through the entire string at each and every index. What should I do? I should check if there is a character which is smaller than the current character and the first index of that character is greater than the first index of my current character. Pause the video and try to analyze it by yourself. You will get what I'm saying. Take some examples, you will do, you will definitely get it. So if there is any occurrence, then just keep a, a Boolean variable to check true or false. Like if you get an answer or if you don't get an answer. So make the answer as true and break out. 
if answer is true then break out because as soon as we find a pair as early as possible to swap we will swap and we will get the lexicographically smallest you can check this will work everywhere this will work for all cases you can check it out so finally if answer is true then we have to swap the occurrences of both the characters i think you can do this much by yourself you can understand this by yourself right i have just taken the characters i have stored the two characters in c1 and c2 variable whenever i am so i am traversing the string again whenever i encounter character c1 i will make it c2 whenever i encounter character c2 i will make it c1 so swapping if answer is false then return the original string that means original string itself is lexicographically smallest for example if i have a string like this if i have a string say a a a b this string itself is lexicographically smallest if you make it a a b a this will still be lexicographically smaller than this so in this case just return the string okay so i hope you got the idea of the solution what was i am trying to what was i trying to do uh i think this first index part maybe you might have not understood so well just rewind the video you will get it if you see it two more times you will get it we are only focused on that first index part only the first occurrence first index means first occurrence of a unique character that's all we don't want all other occurrences so you tell me what is the time and space complexity is it according to this what they have expected please let me know in the comments so that was the first problem let us see the second problem now now second problem is given a string s check if it can be rearranged so that no two characters are adjacent to each other no two characters which are same are adjacent to each other if it is possible output any result if it is not empty string we should output let's take an example let us say the string given to us is a a a b first of all pause the video and read the question it's a simple question only just read it once pause the video and read it i hope you've read it let us consider this example a a a b i have to rearrange this string such that no two adjacent characters are the same can i do it if i do a b a a these two characters are the same there is no way possible to rearrange this kind of string so we have to return empty string but what if i tell you the string is a b sorry a a b b a can i rearrange of course you can make it a b a b a so remember this example and one more example i'll give and let us observe what i did let us consider one more example uh l o v v v l o v v v l o v v can i rearrange this string such that no two characters no two adjacent characters are the same what i can do is i will make it v o v l v so what did i do in both the examples in this example and this see there are two different examples i got the answer as a b a b a 
and here v o v l v what did i try to do basically i tried to find out the character which has a maximum frequency i will try to uh, construct a string in such a way that i will always find out the character with maximum frequency and it does not match the last character in my resulting string resulting string means when i am forming the answers answer string it should not match with the last character what am i trying to say let us take hold on let me tell you with the example i will i'll write it down again so this is my original string okay this is my original string now let me create a answer string let me create an answer string how will i create this answer string initially there is no character in it what will i do first i will try to find out the character with maximum frequency and it does not match with the last character of my answer string but my answer string does not have any character so i will in, i will make it v first because v here has maximum frequency so my answer string is now v initially next what i will do my frequency of v i will reduce so v had a frequency 3 l had a frequency 1 and o has frequency 1 l and o have frequency 1 v has 3 initially but now v frequency will become 2 now i'll try to find out the maximum frequency i'll try to find out the character with the maximum frequency such that that character does not match the last character of my answer string see now although v has maximum frequency but v matches with my answer uh, the last character of my answer string so i will not consider v i will consider suppose say o so my string will change now v o and frequency of o becomes 0 now again i will find out max frequency character it will be v so now i will change the string to v o v then i'll make it v o v l then i'll make it v o v l v so what am i trying to do i am trying to construct a answer string how am i constructing the answer string i will find out the character which has maximum frequency and it does not match with my answer string's last character in this way i am ensuring that no two characters in the answer string are adjacent and same same and adjacent i should say so let me repeat the algorithm i am going to find out the maximum frequency character in such a way that it does not match with the character at the last position of my answer string when will i not be able to get an answer when i cannot find any character which does not match with the last character of my answer string if i can't find any such character for example in this case a a a b you try to apply the algorithm that i told you right now a a a b you try to apply that algorithm you will not be able to uh, make an answer string that time you just return an empty string this was the rough idea of my logic my thinking actually for this problem you can also use priority queue i really want you to use priority queue and come up with an answer you can make priority queue of pairs and uh, why do we need priority queue because in the algorithm that i told you we are always trying to find out character with maximum frequency we want to do it repeatedly 
because as and when we form the answer string character frequency will keep reducing it kept reducing right in this example v character the character v frequency was 3 it became 2 then o it became 0 then again v became 1 like that frequency of characters will be decreasing so every time we have to find out maximum frequency we can use a heap here we can use priority queue so i really encourage you to use priority queue and come up with that solution also i would have used priority queue if the question had not said that it is only lower case alphabet but i just got the answer so i am just sharing it with you otherwise even i would use priority queue so comment down below if you get the priority queue solution so i have given you my logic and i will give the code in the description the answer that i have so this one submitted like if you want me to submit and uh, i'll just check if it is the correct version yeah so this answer is correct i will put the link of this in the description please check out before that try it by yourself i have explained the code to you try it out by yourself i have explained the algorithm you can look at the code if you don't get it try the priority queue solution also so that's all for this long video i really hope you could stay this long i'm sorry for making it so long but i wanted to explain it clearly please share the channel with all your friends as much as possible ask them to share ask your friends to keep sharing subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribe hit the like button if you really like my videos it will really really motivate me i got some messages on instagram that your content is very good so thanks for that keep motivating and sharing my videos like that only it will really help me so that's all for this video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye